since commercial space, you know, has obviously been hit during the time of COVID, how are you recommending people prepare their budgets in accordance to that, you know, potential loss throughout the year? Because maybe the it will get better, but maybe it will sustain. So how have you been, in, um, you know, engaging your clients in that way? So, this is a fantastic question. Uh, it was definitely a harder question to answer last year going into the 21 budget season because everyone was just coming out of COVID and no one knew what was going on and buildings. We had, we had a lot of buildings that um, had done amended leases or given credits or abatements for a couple months. By the time we were doing the audit in, in February, March, and April, those abatements were getting extended for more, for, for, for you know, further along, further along. I think, I think the, the time has, has helped us here. Uh, right now you're, you know, we're almost, you know, a year and a half past, uh, you know, when everything shut down and uh, businesses that, you know, might have said they'll recoup, will know the truth now about whether or not they're going to be able to stay afloat and how much they can afford to pay. Um, and obviously, I think a lot, a lot of boards have been doing, which is, I think, the, the smart, the, the, the smartest way of going about it is, again, it depends on, it depends the type of corporation. You you're dealing with a lease of a garage that maybe the garage company is is backed by a public company and they have, and you know, they have the funds and, and they're just trying to take the building for a ride. I completely agree with taking a hard stance and not giving them, you know, not giving them abatements. Uh, Cause that again, a lot, a lot of buildings that have commercial space, that's 20, a lot of times 15 to 20% of their budget is commercial. And that, and that's, and that's going to be, that's going to be a hit to the owners, to the residential owners. So, um, so, so that's really looking at it from two angles. Number one, do they need it break? You know, are they not paying because they really don't have business or because they're just trying to, to test the waters? Uh, and I think the boards have to be strong if they're, if they're just trying to test the waters and they see the foot traffic coming into the, to the space and, the, and, and, and looks like the business is, 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 is running, I wouldn't be so uh, quick to, to give them an abatement. But at the same time, also, if you have a business that is hurting for whatever reason, the business model doesn't, you know, let's say barber shops that were you know thriving during because everyone was in the city getting haircuts now people working from home they're not getting the same foot traffic but, you know you have to ask yourself a question do you ask him how much can you pay you know let's say he was paying ten thousand a month can you afford to pay five so at least the space is 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 uh, occupied or do you kick him out and you, you say listen we, we, we you know you can't you're not you're not making your monthly payments so therefore we're going to ask you to leave and go find somebody else um, I think I think a lot of buildings are are, are being the, are being conservative and saying, all right, let's see what we can get for now. But I think time, like I said, time has really helped all these buildings uh, give everyone the opportunities that they that they originally gave them. So when we were doing the audits last year, uh, they were giving everyone six month abatements. You know, we'll give you six months. If you can make those payments, then we'll restart again. If 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 those six months they're not able to make those payments, they're probably not. Can be able to make it after that so you have to be realistic and say all right you know time to leave we'll find somebody else or you deal with it but when you deal with it and you do the budget which you know, i'm sure megan's going to completely agree with me on this don't budget for the full rent <laughs> you know they were, they were paying a hundred thousand a month for rent now they're only able to pay 25 don't prepare the 22 budget assuming they're going to be collecting a hundred thousand a month you have to be realistic and, and and as much as it hurts and I've had a ton of buildings that have uh, have been you know have been hurt. They've had to implement assessments. They've had to implement increases for 21 um, to to recover uh, the lost rents. Um, you know to 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 put a budget out with the hundred thousand dollar number when it's really 25 hurts. It's really again that's not the future thinking. That's that's going into the reserve account. That's you're pulling money out of reserves. You're you're now you're gonna you're gonna end up asking the owners for that money anyway. Um, and you have to make the right decision with that, with, uh, with the leases. So leases really, I think time has helped us to make to boards to make those decisions. And you have a couple of options there uh, to be aggressive or not to be aggressive.